There is a very interesting and nice image from Tesla Giga Berlin this morning, friends, from Giga Berlin area. Our friend Jürgen, who has been chronicling Giga Berlin since the first day, has shared this image. The GF4 Tesla, which is uh, his Twitter channel, continues to impress with its updates on the progress of Tesla Giga Berlin. The latest image shared showcases the main entrance of Giga Berlin, shuttle train station. Look at that shuttle train station and logistics area of Giga Berlin electric vehicle car factory offering us a glimpse of the bustling activity with numerous Model Y vehicles ready for delivery. You can see it on the right side of the image. It's evident that significant advancements have been made at Giga Berlin, particularly in the construction of the new station at Tesla Giga Berlin. However, uh, I don't know when this is going to open. The specific opening date of the new uh, train station remains unknown at this time. Uh, so please subscribe to this channel because I'm going to follow this news and once we know anything I will report to you. It's understandable to be curious about when it will be operational, right? As it's going to be a huge change for the Giga Berlin employees as it signifies another milestone in the development of Giga Berlin electric vehicle production facility. Hopefully the timeline for its opening will be revealed soon giving um, uh, enthusiasts of Tesla and followers something to look forward to. Now, moreover, Twitter user and Giga Berlin drone operator Toby Lind has also released a new video showcasing the ongoing activities at the site. It's always exciting to see the latest footage and gain insights into the progress of such a significant factory. It, um, if time permits, it would be worthwhile to check out Toby Lin's video to witness the multitude of things happening at Giga Berlin Friends. So in fact, the idea of discussing the noteworthy aspects of Toby Lin's latest Giga Berlin video in a new video on Torque News um, sounds interesting. So I may do that later this evening. It will provide an opportunity to delve into the details and highlight any special observations made. If any viewers come across interesting insights or noteworthy developments in the video so please feel free to share your thoughts on the comments below so overall the update from uh, Jürgen who tweets at GF for Tesla and Toby Lind are uh, about Giga Berlin are invaluable in keeping the Tesla community informed and engaged in the progress of Giga Berlin the anticipation for the completion of this um, ramp up of the production and hiring of people at Giga Berlin and also uh, possibly um, learning about a new Giga factory somewhere in Europe uh, is, is very exciting So uh, for Tesla's expansion in Europe. Let me know your thoughts, friends. What do you think about this image and what's happening at Giga Berlin? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let's move on to our next story. We now know the battery capacity of the new Tesla Model Y that is being produced in Germany at Giga Berlin using the BYD battery and also it has a midnight cherry red color. Friends, everyone is talking about in the automotive industry and Tesla enthusiast industry about the new midnight cherry red color Tesla that Tesla is, uh, Tesla Model Y that Tesla is building at Gigafactory Berlin and it's using the BYD battery. Several days ago, I reported about that and based on the German publication, which uses the word small Tesla Model Y, meaning a lower range. Apparently in German language, there is similarities between those words and people were wondering how lower is range of this new Model Y that Tesla Giga Berlin is building. In this report, I'm going to tell you how lower that range is, how different is the new Model Y with BYD battery compared to the Model Y that Tesla is usually building with CATL battery and you're going to know all about that. So Tesla Giga factory in Berlin has started production of new Model Y versions both in terms of battery suppliers and when it comes to the color to the electric uh, uh, SUV which is now available the world's second biggest battery maker and main Tesla competitor BYD has been rumored to become its fourth 
battery supply since last summer. Those rumors were recently confirmed as the first Model Y batches with BYD's structural LFP battery pack have appeared on the conveyor belts at Tesla Giga Berlin factory. At the time, the regulatory database that had the new Model Y with the BYD battery locked for a good while still pegged it as having a 55 kilowatt our capacity. For comparison, the current Chinese version of the CATL LFP battery cells is 60 kilowatt hour. And uh, but a recent buyer, however, revealed in the local Tesla forum that the VIN number checks were misleading. According to their Tesla advisor, uh, the new Model Y built at Gigafactory Berlin with BYD battery turned out to be 59 kilowatt hour. Consider CATL battery that Tesla has been using is 60 kilowatt hour. The BYD battery is not much less. It's only 59 kilowatt hour, only one kilowatt hour less. The range should therefore be the same as the version with CATL battery, but 455 kilometer on the WLTP cycle, provided that the Model Y with BYD cells is on 19 inch wheels. The Berlin made standard range Model Y, however, would have other advantages with BYD battery if its structural pack is made of BYD blade batteries. The LFP cells can be easily charged to the maximum all the time with no significant degradation and are much safer. Now, according to BYD, while undergoing nail penetration tests, the blade battery emitted neither smoke nor fire after being penetrated and its surface temperature only reached 30 to 60 uh, uh, degrees Celsius. The blade battery pack has also been subjected to other extreme test conditions, such as being crushed, bent, being heated in a furnace to 300 degrees Celsius and overcharging by 260%. None of these resulted in a fire or explosion, adds the world's second largest battery maker, BYD. Besides the new standard range Model Y with BYD LFP battery, the Gigafactory Berlin, which boasts Tesla's most advanced paint shop, has started churning out the long-awaited Midnight Cherry Red color. The first Model Y batch in Midnight Cherry Red can be previewed uh, online in different videos, and uh, it's going to be really exciting to see new beautiful um, cherry color, midnight cherry red color. So, but the bigger news is that the battery that Tesla is using, many people were worried that it will be lower range, smaller, but no, it still gives you 455 kilometers to be, to be honest, off the top of my head. I don't know how uh, uh, to turn it uh, to uh, miles, what, maybe 350, 370, I don't know. Someone can maybe do the math and also post in the comment section below, but it's a 59 kilowatt hour versus CATL LFP batteries, 60 kilowatt hours. This is the main news because some people were expecting it to be 55, but it's 59, four kilowatt hour more from expectation and just only one kilowatt hour less from CATL LFP battery, which is Tesla's main battery um, supplier. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this new Tesla? Especially it looks like it has a lot of, this battery has a lot of advantages, advantages, advantages that BYD has taken. Stated. New images of Giga Berlin show Tesla focusing on what matters, friends. There is a recent tweet from Twitter user GF4Tesla, which showcases a series of new images of Tesla Giga Berlin factory. The images depict the logistics area of Giga Berlin is well filled and the delivery of the Model Y is running, running at full speed. You are seeing those images on your screen. And Jürgen, uh, who tweets at GF4Tesla, has been chronicling Tesla Giga Berlin from day one. Now, looking at the comments under the tweet, it is clear that people are excited about the progress of the factory and the potential impact it will have on the automotive industry. Many commenters are also impressed with the speed at which the factory has been constructed and now ramping the production and delivery of the Model Y, not only in Germany, but throughout the Europe. One commenter notes that Tesla has chosen a strategic location of the Gigafactory Berlin as it is close to a major port uses rails, which will make it easier to export vehicles to other countries in Europe. Other commenters highlight the environmental benefits 
of electric cars and praises Tesla commitment to sustainable manufacturing. Friends, overall, as you can see from these images, the factory is making great progress at Giga Berlin. What makes the factory so special? Well, the Tesla Giga Berlin factory represents the future of manufacturing and not only for Tesla. It's also great to see the progress Tesla is making on the assembly lines of Giga Berlin. This electric vehicle manufacturing factory, a state-of-the-art factory that will produce some of the best electric cars in the world. I mentioned that Giga Berlin's location is strategic. This is important because Tesla wants to make electric cars accessible to everyone, not just people in the local area. The factory's location will make it easier to transport cars to other parts of Europe and beyond. Looking at these images, it is clear, in my opinion, that Tesla Giga Berlin factory is a significant development for the automotive industry, for sustainable manufacturing, and for the local economy of Giga Berlin, about which I've already spoken before. Well, we'll be following the progress closely and we'll look forward to seeing the impact it has on the world electronic car market.